So good morning once again, and welcome to Marketing Matters. I'm Sarah Touchstone, Landmark Titles, Social Media Marketing Strategist and Educator, bringing you Marketing Matters live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Did you miss one live? Well, just a quick reminder, we've got a YouTube channel that categorizes all of our Marketing Matters. So even with it being summer and being busy, if you can't make it on live, please go check out our channel or you can ask your business development manager for the link for it. So diving into our topic today, we're gonna to be covering CRMs. So this is your client management relation center. Um, there are a lot of different CRMs out there. The most common question that I get on CRMs is, Sarah, what is the best CRM for real estate or my real estate business? And the answer is the CRM that you use. So like I said, lots of different options out there. Uh, the one that we're going to be covering today is Wise Agent. This is probably one of the most widely used, particularly here in Phoenix, for real estate agents. It is a local company. They're based out of Fountain Hills, and they've got great customer service. Those are two reasons that I love it. The third one is that it is for real estate agents, built by real estate agents. So they really dive into a lot of the particulars that you need to use. There is a lot of CRMs out there that have just hundreds of different abilities, but we know that time is valuable, right? Time is money in real estate. So a lot of times you don't want to get bogged down with a lot of CRM detail. That's another reason I really do like Wise Agent. Uh, the features, some of the more advanced features, I know realtors don't particularly use unless they have an assistant doing them. So today, what we're going to go into is we're going to go into setting um, setting up your client list, importing uh, your contacts from an Excel, uh, setting categories, and setting tasks, and setting notes. These are the things that are going to keep you on top of your clients. We'll also go into email and whatnot too. But those couple of things are really what is going to, like I said, keep you top of mind. You don't want to just put your client's information into your CRM, set it and forget it. You need to be leveraging their contacts and reaching out so that you do stay top of mind. You also don't want to just get in and set your clients on a email drip campaign and then walk away and say, well, you know, my CRM is going to do the work for me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to screen share my CRM, which is Wise Agent. And then I'm going to show you some of the really neat particulars. Okay. All right. Here we are. I'm going to go to my CRM. Now I'm gonna go, I was in it playing around this morning. Um, so we're gonna go to the home page here in the CRM. When you log in, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see your calendar. You're gonna see if you have any tasks set up for the day. Now, I don't necessarily use uh, my CRM so much for setting tasks anymore. Uh, I use it more, you guys probably get my weekly emails out but back in the days when I was doing real estate recruiting, I live and died by my CRM. I spent at least an hour every morning going over my tasks and then setting up my day. And then I would spend at least an hour every end of the day inputting it, unless I was doing it in live time. The best thing to do is just, you know, make updates as you're reaching out to people in real time. But I would never end my day without going into my CRM and updating the contacts with anybody that I had talked to, anybody that I had emailed that day. So I know that sounds a little daunting uh, to spend two hours in your CRM every day. You don't necessarily have to do that, uh, but it is a really great way, like I said, to stay on top of your clients because if you end up with a lot of clients, you are gonna struggle to stay top of mind with them. And you're going to struggle to remember everything about them, which is where the CRM comes in really handy. So right here on my homepage, 
as you can see, not only do I have a calendar, but I have my task list, I have my call list, I have my hot list, so you can add all the things to there. So maybe you're a person that likes um, a to-do list, a checklist. And if you're at all like me, a lot of times I'm writing these down on paper, right? But what happens to paper? It gets, you know, shuffled around, it gets thrown out. You go look for that task list that you wrote a few days ago and you can't find it. That's what makes having a CRM task list so powerful. So let's begin with some of the basics, right? So importing contact lists. Now, if you haven't already downloaded all of your contacts from your phone into an Excel, I really recommend doing that and entering that into your CRM. Um, there are some different particulars for iPhone versus Android. Uh, I recommend Googling to figure out how to do that. But odds are good as a real estate agent, most of your contacts are in your phone, makes it quick and easy to upload them into your CRM. So for that, we're going to go over to contacts and we're going to import export. Now, like I said, there are lots of different CRMs out there. So if you don't have wise agent, you might be like, oh, I don't know how this is going to help me. Most CRMs have all of these similar functions. So import export list. Okay, we're going to import it. I've already saved a Excel spreadsheet from Marketing Matters uh, earlier today. So I'm going to import it into my contacts. For Wise Agent and most software out there, you need a CSV file. So if you've downloaded the Excel, make sure you go in and you save it as a CSV file. That's how it's going to import the information. All right, then we're going to go to upload. Here's the one that I had today. I'm going to open it up. Now, this is what's really important too. So sometimes your CRMs will auto-generate, but sometimes you need to make sure that you're getting all the information in there, such as first name, last name, and then of course, email address. Okay. Then the other thing that you're going to want to do anytime you import, anytime you touch anybody in your um, CRM is to categorize them. Categorizing them is one of the best ways to remember to reach out and retain certain information for certain groups of people. You want to know where these contacts came from, right? So if you're doing like your phone list, you may come into your category and say, you know, phone list, just to have everybody in there. But then I'm going to show you how we're going to go in and we're going to actually add individual categories to each of our contacts. What categories are going to help you with is that when you want to reach out, say, I've got a group um, of people that like golf. So if I know my client likes golf, I'm going to want to put that category in there so that when you know, the waste management comes around and I want to reach out with information about that or another golf tournament or something like that, something that is custom information that is custom tailored to my client's interests. All I have to do is look for that category. So for me, this is a marketing matters category. Now, maybe you already have people in your CRM. Um, so maybe you want to click over here and insert new or update existing contacts. Maybe things have changed. So that's the one that I like to select. Most of the time, especially if I'm doing marketing matters, it's just putting new people in there. And then we hit import. Or if you're just starting out with the CRM, maybe like I said, you've been keeping everybody on to uh, an Excel list or something like that. Get them in your CRM so you can actually start working them a little bit more diligently. All right. 27 new contacts added. Cool. I have the ability to go back and import more, or I can view maybe the recently imported contacts. And here they are. These are all, my, this is my entire contact list. Now, let's dive into some of the particulars uh, regarding our contact list. 
This is where you're going to have the ability to go in and add additional information. Great. You've got everybody in there. Now let's go ahead and click on an individual. I picked up Jose because he's just the first one on my list. Um, I set a few things in here earlier today. So within this area, and like I said, a lot of CRMs are different. Um, there are some different little nuances. I've worked in Lions Desk before. It's very similar to Wise Agent as well. So a lot of these things that I'm covering, the particulars may be in different areas that I'm showing you, but the concept is the same. Categories, tasks, contact, email, call list, every CRM is going to have it. If your CRM doesn't, you probably want a different one. You might want one that is a little bit more advanced. So here in Wise Agent, we've got the option to send email. There is a send text option. You can also text categories. Now with Wise Agent, the texting feature costs a little bit more a month, but as we know, people tend to read their texts more than they read their emails or answer their phones. So it's a great option. Then there's view notes. I really recommend going in and putting notes in um, as well. And we'll do that. Um, you can create an event for them. You can set a task and you can create a call. Now, these are going to be reminders that are going to be available on that first page when you open up your CRM. So let's go ahead and check out the notes. I really like this one. So say I had a great conversation with Jose today. Um, I'm going to want to go in. Maybe I got a little bit more information about him, um, such as, you know, his birth. Well, I think there's areas for like birthday and all that stuff, but he's got a birthday coming up on June 28th. Um, you know, maybe they just got a new puppy. And uh, maybe he's going on vacation for the next two weeks. And wants me to reach out to him um, when he gets back from vacation. So this is all going to go right here in my notes. Uh, you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to see all of your notes that you've created. Uh, you can, you know, add some extra things in here. It also denotes what time you are adding all of this information in here. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to keep that one simple. I'm just going to add notes to that. And now I can go back. I can click on here and I should be able to view all of my notes right there. Very, very cool. So anytime I want to go and see what I put in there works out really well. Okay. The next thing I want to do is create a task. Now, one of the best pieces of advice ever given to me with CRMs is never open up your CRM and add something without creating another task. So this is what's going to help me stay top of mind with my clients and help keep my clients top of mind as well. So we know that Jose is going on vacation, wants me to reach out in two weeks. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set, um, I can put details in here. So wants me to weeks after vacation. All right. Um, I can put when I want this all in here, uh, two weeks from now. Let's say I'm going to reach out on the 6th. Nobody wants to be reached up to the day after 4th of July. Uh, I can set my priority. This is a high one. This is a very hot lead, maybe. I can even set the time that I want. And then I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to set an alert. Now, an alert, and I really like this because I live and die also by my email. I'm going to set an alert on the 6th so that when I open my email up on the 6th, there's going to be an alert from my CRM reminding me, because maybe I got busy on the 4th of July and the 5th, and now comes the 6th, and I'm just playing catch up, right? I'm busy. Um, I'm not necessarily thinking about getting into my CRM. That's one of the things I really like about setting alerts that are going to go straight to my email. So once again, 
I'm going to go in here. I'm going to set an alert. Um, I like setting them first thing in the morning. So it doesn't necessarily matter if it's, you know, eight, eight o'clock, eight 15. I just like to have that ready to go. Now I'm going to add my email in here and boom, I'm going to add that in. Okay. Once again, oh, here we go. We got our tasks. Now I'm just going to save that and it's going to go. Uh, all right. Set that, save it, task subject, call, call Jose and save it. All right. Now that's going to go into my email. So I did one of these earlier. Um, it was supposed to hit about 10, 10, 10, 10, 15 this morning. It has been a while since I've done these. So let's go check it out, see if it is in fact in my email. All right. All right, it probably went to my junk email. So just make sure that you are checking your junk email. That alert should be in there. All right, and then, so we're gonna go back. Any questions on setting alerts? Um, or setting your notes. The last thing I want to cover is, well, there's two things. Same thing with the creating a call. So calling Jose, I could have set that in my tasks. I could have come in here and set that in my alerts. It's basically the exact same thing, but maybe you want to categorize things a little bit differently, calls versus tasks. So you would just come in here, set your calls exactly the same and they're just going to show up in the different categories. Okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is emailing your contacts. So we're going to come up here. We're going to go to email, contacts. And then to find that category here in um, Wise Agent, they've now moved it over to the side. As you can see, I can pull up lots of different options. But based on just what we're doing today, I want to pull up a specific category and email this information out. So you'll see all my categories. We're going to select marketing matters. And wise agent, you got to go one more step to search. And now coming back here, all of my marketing matters contacts are right here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to compose an email. Um, maybe I want to update you guys on what we're covering next week for Marketing Matters. Like I said, you guys might all get my emails every single week um, regarding what topics we have coming up this week. I usually send those out on Monday. This is what I do. I get in here. Um, I pull my categories. I compose my email and then I get it out. So if, like I said, you've got somebody that is um, interested in golf, or maybe they love boating, or they love fishing, and you're wanting to touch them specifically, custom tailoring your information that you're sending out, because all your clients don't want to necessarily just hear what's going on in the housing market. You really want to touch some of those interest points um, and build that relationship and build that trust with them. So take it a step further, categorize the people that are in your CRM and really bring relevant information to them. One other thing that I did want to show you guys in contacts, I showed you how to um, import a list and create a category. I forgot to show you, you can actually create categories here within your contacts. So great. I uploaded everybody. You can see under categories right here. Jose took one of our Zoom classes, and now maybe I want to go ahead and put him in Marketing Matters as well. You can create as many categories as you want um, for an individual. So I want to put him in, here's my golf category. Um, I want to make sure that I'm getting my bases completely covered when it comes to putting information in for my clients. So that's about it that I wanted to cover today, guys. Um, you know, usually I like to keep these under 30 minutes. So if you have any questions, um, we do have a uh, CRM 
uh, video where we had somebody from Wise Agent come on and talk about some particular things. That's on our YouTube channel. We also had a great speaker last week. If you guys missed it, it was all about maximizing your database. Um, so go check that out. I'm going to wrap up today with some of the other upcoming classes that we have. So if you have any questions, put them in the chat, question and answer window. And I'm going to wrap it up today um, with some of the other amazing classes that we have coming up. So tomorrow at 9 a.m., we have the next edition of our Arizona Real Estate Series. This is on Zoom now. We've done it in person, but after COVID, it just didn't feel quite the same. Uh, but Zoom allows us to get even more people on. Last one, we had 75 people on. Um, tomorrow, we're going to expect over 100 people to attend this Zoom. This is all going to be about what construction of freeways and transit in 2023 is looking like. You guys drive these freeways every single day. So this is some really pertinent information for you as well as your clients and as well as um, our entire Metro as a whole. So we're going to have somebody from ADOT and a couple of people from the Maricopa Association of Governments on. This is going to be a great one. You don't want to miss it. This one is only available live. There is no recording of it. So you're going to want to get on and get that information live. And then the following week, if you guys were on a couple of weeks ago, the amazing Deanna Bone joined us as well. And we talked a little bit about her summer school program that she's running. This is also going to be on Zoom. Uh, if you haven't heard Deanna speak, she gives such amazing nuggets of information. You are guaranteed to take away some key information for your business. So the next one of this, or the first one, I guess it is, is going to be uh, June 26th. So that's next month's Monday at 10 a.m. They're only once a month. And once again, this is another series. You can only get the information live. So get signed up. I'm going to be hosting the one on the 26th with Deanna. It's going to be great. See you there. And then we've got the Biltmore Luxury Tour. We do this every month on the fourth Wednesday at 9 a.m. So they meet at Camelback. This is a great tour. Uh, I went to this one frequently before COVID and the Billmore area has the most fascinating homes. Uh, there are things that I have seen in there that I could have only dreamed to see in magazines. Uh, it's a free, it, all realtors are welcome. So it's a great tour to come out to. Fourth Wednesday, once again, QR code, sign up, get the information about what's coming up. Also on June 28th, we've got a CE class, in-person CE. This is going to give you three hours of contract law. Butch is the instructor. He's great. We've had him on our Zoom CE classes before. This one is in the afternoon too, so you can go to the... Uh, home tour in the morning, and then you can go to your CE class in the afternoon. This one's going to be in Arrowhead. So if you would like to register, please get registered. Renee is hosting this, and this one's going to be great. This one also has a QR code. You guys tell we love QR codes here, right? So quick and easy. And then that same day, I'll be up in the Prescott area. We're going to be doing GIFs and headshots and have a fun, happy hour at our Prescott office. So if you're up in the area, you want to come out. GIFs are one of the things that we've been using here in the Valley for quite some time. Uh, they're the little one, you know, little animations that you can put on your stories, on your posts. Uh, it makes it just fun, unique, and it grabs attention and can make everything that you're doing into a video quickly and easily. So this is a tool and a technique that is not so widely used up in the Prescott area yet, but we're looking to change that. So swing on by the Prescott office. Um, we'll be there from 3.30 to 5.30 next Wednesday. And then we've got an escrow 101 lunch uh, already mo moving all the way into July. This one's going to be Tuesday, July 11th from noon until 1.30 this is going to be over at our, our Goodyear office with Tiffany. She's an amazing escrow officer, just an absolute powerhouse. And come on, guys, I know you have escrow questions. 
So come on out if you're in the West Valley. Plus, we're going to feed you. It's a lunch and learn. So reach out to Renee for details and to RCP for that one. And then going back to Prescott, we've got um, the Whiskey Row Tours. These are going to be kicking off again in July. So the next one is July 27th, starts at 4 p.m. Uh, these are really fun. I've been up to there, these as well. There's a wealth of information. Uh, you can invite clients and customers. If nothing else, you get out. If you're here in Phoenix, you can get out of Phoenix for a couple of hours and go enjoy some cooler weather up in the Prescott area. And then also in Prescott, they've got their Here Comes the Judge series. The next one of that is going to be August 17th, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. at the Willow Creek Inn. Once again, this is open for all realtors to come check it out, whether you are up in the Prescott area or whether you're in Phoenix and you just want to go take a day trip and go, you know, giggle and learn some fun information about what to do or not to do. And that's about, oh, and then Quick reminder, yeah, <laughs> no webinar on July 5th. As I was just saying earlier, it is the day after July 4th. We hardly ever miss a Marketing Matters. However, being that it's a weird holiday on a Tuesday, I figure everybody needs a little chance to catch up on that 5th. If you really are missing your Marketing Matters that Wednesday, just remember, you can go view any of our videos on the Landmark Title YouTube channel. And that's it for us today, guys. So once again, if you need any of these videos, you need any more information about what we talk about here on Marketing Matters, reach out to Beth, Becky, Melinda, Mary, Patty, Cynthia, Michelle, Michael, and Renee. They can help you implement any of these tools and techniques into your business. And then, of course, thank you to Landmark Title for allowing us to bring you Marketing Matters every Wednesday at 10 a.m., we have seven offices across the valley, one in Prescott, and of course, two in Nevada to service all of your real estate, escrow, and title needs. Please think of us on your next contract. We'd love to be the ones at the closing table with you and your clients. Your clients are like family to us here at Landmark Title. So thank you all for attending, and we'll see you next week.